I just wanted you guys to make sure you guys understood the process because if you do get something like this, you are going to have to apply you know, the process to maybe a more pre calculus -y type of question. But again, the first thing, guys, I know is a trinomial. I want to see if I can factor this. So we've been practicing factoring quite a bit. So I kind of quickly realized that um, this denominator can be factored out to x minus 4x plus 1, right? Because I've been trained so far in this class. When I see a trinomial, I want to see if it's factorable, right? And if it is factorable, I want to factor it. More likely than not, that's going to be useful. In this case, it is useful because to find my LCD, I don't want to do what I did in the last problem. I don't want to multiply this times that because they already share an x plus 1. So the only thing that I need to add for them to have a common denominator is this is my common denominator, x minus 4 times x plus 1. right? Because this denominator evenly divides into that one time. x plus 1 divides into this x minus 4 times. So that's my common denominator. So the only thing I need to do in this problem to get common denominators is just multiply by an x minus 4 over an x minus 4. Okay. Now, this one can be a little tricky because um, there's a couple things we could do here. If I rewrite this, if I wanted to simplify my numerator, a lot of people will start making um, mistakes with this. So I'm going to leave this as a negative. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just, I'm going to multiply this out, but I'm going to put it in parentheses, my product, because remember, you're subtracting, you're subtracting this quantity. You're not subtracting the x. You're subtracting the whole um, rational expression. So when I multiply this out, let's see, I get x squared. That's going to turn to a negative 2x. I'm multiplying this in my head. And that's going to be minus 8. Right? Negative 4x plus 2x. Everybody can, anybody confirmed that answer? Yes? No? You could also distribute that negative first if you wanted to. But it's important for you guys to realize that you're subtracting this whole quantity. So I'm inserting the parentheses to remind myself I'm subtracting all of these terms. You're not just subtracting the x squared, because what students will do is they'll forget the parentheses, or they won't insert the parentheses, and they'll subtract the x squared. But remember, guys, it's this whole quantity. So sometimes it might be easier just to make it a positive and then negate that whole top first. But I don't really like multiplying with negative numbers, so I like to do that secondary. So therefore, if I distribute this, let's see what that'd give me. That'd give me negative x squared plus 2x plus 8. Well, now it's much easier to combine my like terms, which would be a negative x squared plus 5x plus 8 all over x minus 4 times x plus 1. Did anybody get that one? Yeah. A little bit tricky with the negatives. 